My name is Brian Kane, and I am a small business solutions advisor with the Microsoft Connections team. Today, we're going to dive back into Office Live and continue to make changes to our site. First thing that we're going to do is go in, create some new pages, and modify the overall structure of the links. To do so, let's click on Design Site. Both the Office Live Web Designer and Page Manager will open up. Within the Web Designer, let's first take a look at our links. You can see that last time, when I click on the About Us page, the changes we made, our contact information in particular. Therefore, the first thing I'd like to do is go in and delete the Contact Us page. Let's switch over to the Page Manager. Here you'll see each of our individual pages on our website and we can make modifications to their properties or in this case delete one. Select delete to the right of contact us and click OK to confirm. Now let's create a new page. We could do this from web designer but I want to show you how we can do it from Page Manager as well. Click on New Page. Then choose what type of page you'd like. There are a number of pre-configured templates for you. For right now, let's just select General. Then we'll configure some of the options. This is going to be a page about learning Office Live. What I've done now is gone in and customized the page title, what will appear in the address bar, as well as the name of the link. And you can see that the new page has been created and it is previewed within the web designer. I've added some content. Now, let's add some additional pages associated with this Office Live page. In the Page Manager page, once again, click New Page. Everything will look exactly the same as the Office Live. The only thing we're going to be doing different is selecting a different parent. Before it was the top level, so that link appeared on the main navigational bar. This time, let's associate this page with the Office Live page. Let's take a look at our site now. When I click on Office Live, You'll not only see the subsite that I created, but several others as well. All we have to do now is add in content. I've gone in and added a few more pages. You'll see now we have Home, SharePoint, About Us, Office Live, management fundamentals and marketing fundamentals. I do have a problem with this however. The links are out of order. To fix this, let's go back to the page manager page and then click on navigation. To rearrange the order, the first thing we do is simply click on a page in the left hand pane. For example, the about us page I would like to be the very last page, and I'll click move down till it's on the bottom. Now I'll move Office Live up, and then click OK to finalize my decisions.
now that our site infrastructure is configured, let's begin to add content. Before we do add more content, however, let's take a look at the image gallery and document gallery and make sure we understand them. Let's take a look at the image gallery first. This is where all the images on our site will be stored. To upload them, it's the exact same way we would do within Web Designer. Just click on Upload and select the picture you want to upload. For example, I'm going to select this picture of a waterfall. I do want to point out one other feature though. When I hover over the picture, I'll notice a few different options. I can rotate it by clicking on the rotate buttons on the left and right hand corner. Or I can make some simple edits by clicking on the pen and paper you see in the middle. For example, I could increase the brightness, reduce the brightness, rotate the image, or even crop it. Next, let's take a look at the document gallery. Let's say that you have a brochure that you want customers to be able to download from your site. That's exactly where the document gallery comes into play. Here, you can store all the documents you want customers to be able to download and then simply link to it in a similar fashion to the way you would link to an external site. And let's go ahead and do that. First, we'll upload our document. The process is a little different than uploading a picture, but still just as easy. selected my document and once I click add it's ready to be uploaded. Our document has been uploaded and now we're ready to insert it into our site. We're gonna do so on this marketing fundamental site where we're gonna host a variety of different documents about key concepts in marketing. To do so let's select where we want to insert it. I'm going to highlight the power of branding, which is what this article is about, and then click on hyperlink in the top of the page. And you'll see I have a variety of different options. I could go to an external website, one of the pages on my internal website, or I can select document. Then I'll select document over here. And you can see the one document we have uploaded. I will select it click OK, and then click OK once more. Let's take a look at this in Internet Explorer. Let's take a look at what happens when someone clicks on that link. You can see the document is being downloaded, and in just a second, Adobe Acrobat will open. And now you can see they can view the document directly from this page. We've just gone in and shown just how easy it is to make modifications to an Office Live site. Once again, everything we did today can be done with Office Live Basic, which is completely free. For more great webcasts, audiocasts, resources, and information about free live events in your area, please visit microsoft.com slash connections.